kwa sababu hujui mtoto wako huyu atolewa wapi miaka 20 inayokuja hujui mtoto ambaye ametoka Bungoma atolewa wapi kwa uko upi hapa Nyandarua because united we stand divided we fall mmepita kule sasa wewe ni your nationalist and we adore you and respect you as such kwa hivyo endelea kututembelea endelea kuungamana nasi katika kila hali sisi tunasimama na wewe wakati William atamaliza ukisema ni wewe hatuna shida we do not need to, uh, to be tested further mimi ni waombe tu jameni watu wa Kinangop tuendelee pia kumuombea huyu papa wa Roma kwa sababu ni kiongozi mzuri akiitwa anaitika si ndio our peers ah nijinia over karibu sana Kinangop constituency ambayo inaongozwa na Kenya karibu sana Jambo moja tu mvua imenyesha nikaona pasta ana ana complain. Sisi kwetu mvua ni mingi kama hapa tu complain kwa mvua. Sababu kikumbua mwaka jana mvua ilipotea paka mimi nikaomba tu peke yangu kwa kitanda nikaomba mvua ikuje. Na vile imekuja wacha inye. Na nyinyi mupa. Na waambieni kwetu ndio mahindi utoka. Saa hii imekataa kutoka bei ya 75. Tunashukuru Mungu sababu ya mvua. Otherwise kawaida wakati kama huu huwa imeshika kichaa ile uh, ile kipimo kinaitwa gorogoro. Imefika 150. Sasa hii bado iko 75 85. So wacha mvua inyeshe na mpande. Mtu mwenye atakana ashikwe na asikuwe na huruma. Ni ule alileta mbolea mbaya. Because that guy wants to kill the entire country. So huyo tu, tunapea rais Ruto idhini that guy afutwe akipatikana si ndio tumepata speaker ambaye anashikilia viongozi wote Kenya nzima kwa pamoja tumepata mawaziri ambao wanatuja lakini si mnajua Paulo alisema kuna wagalatia akawauliza nyinyi wagalatia nani amewaroga kwa hivyo kuna wengine pia kuna wengine pia ambao wanatuleta wanaleta serikali yetu chini si ndio wale ambao wanataka kuiba mbolea hao Yesu alisema jicho moja ikiwa baya unangoa si ndio ama nyinyi mnasemaje wale watu wanaiba mbolea tumwambie mheshimiwa Ruto awatoe si ndio mheshimiwa speaker ambaye ako kat safari ya kuunganisha wabunge na kuhakikisha ya kwamba pale bungeni tunaongea sauti moja bila kuangaliana kwa macho ya ukabila ama mirengo ya kisiasa mimi ni waombe tu jameni Watu wa Kinangop tuendelee pia kumuombea huyu papa wa Roma. Kwa sababu ni kiongozi mzuri akiitwa anaitika, si ndio? Mimi ni kwambie ukweli leo. People say that power is not given. Power is grabbed. Na kuna watu wengi sana wanakuamini. Kwa sababu kama sisi wa Kikuyu tume graduate, tumeacha mambo ya siasa ya mudo wito. Kana mule wa hapo mudo wito. Mtu ambaye anatusaidia ndiye mtu wetu. Hii kabila si kitu kwetu tena hasa hapa kwetu Nyandarwa we are looking at leaders who can transform leaders who have a vision for this country and you qualify in every measure your coming here is a testimony that you have uh, crossed tribal lines umepita kule sasa wewe ni your nationalist and we adore you and respect you as such kwa hivyo endelea kututembelea endelea kuungamana nasi katika kila hali sisi tunasimama na wewe wakati William atamaliza ukisema ni wewe hatuna shida we do not need to, uh, to be tested further you are that in command in this country and i'm saying this without fear of contradiction kwani nani alisema na kwamba kikiwa kuwe rais
si sisi tumekuwa na miaka yetu kuambiana ukweli kwa sababu he must be delivered from the stupidity and the foolishness and the backwardness of tribalism sisi ni kitaifa moja and want to assure you as much mr speaker sisi tumevuka tumepita pale you are the leader that we want to see a leader who has a history yenye tunaweza soma from 1993 tuseme 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 kweli si kweli jameni ni utondo ndio kile huko ni ende mubaluhia au kile huko tondo bishop na mubaluhia alikuja kwa sababu anakuja kwa wanake madugu zake kwa hivyo tunashukuru sana speaker hatuna maneno ya kutosha kusema jinsi ambavyo tunasikia katika roho zetu ya fatariza yetu kutoka Nairobi ikuja mpaka Olkalao watu watoke hapa weru waende mpaka Olkalao wakienda siku moja wanakosa fatariza wakienda siku ya pili wanakosa fatariza wakienda siku ya tatu wanakosa fatariza hata wakienda siku ya tano wanakosa fatariza na wakipewa wanakoa wengine ni mbaya ile wamepewa mzuri ni ya kupanda mahindi sisi ni watu ya kupanda viazi mimi na mheshimiwa kweli tumekubaliana mimi kama sasa tawani nimewaletea milioni 121 ambao zapatia county government badilisha na watu uh, yake hapa wanunua fatariza kusema kweli hata ikiwa ni kunegotiate na unaona watu wanakufa madaktari tunawaomba muwe na roho ya utu at least ukisikia ati watu ni wagonjwa enda tu ukatibu hao watu hakuna haja ya ukatae kutibu mtu akufe na wakati wako wa utaenda huko juu Mungu atakuuliza nilikupatia ideas nilikupatia hekima nilikuonyesha jinsi ya kutibu watu na haukutibu watu kwa sababu ya pesa tusiangalie pesa sana naomba mimi kama mama county especially doctors wale wa hii eneo eneo yote ya Kenya please go back to work hiyo ingine tutaongea hiyo ingine ya pesa tutaongea pesa ni Mungu tupea hii serikali tulichukua wakati ilikuwa wakati mgumu sana but now at least there is hope hata nyinyi kwa nini muna na roho ya firao kwamba shilingi ya Kenya imeendelea kupata nguvu na wiki chache zilizopita kumesemekana kwamba dunia yote shilingi ya Kenya ndio imepata nguvu kabisa kwa hivyo tunashukuru bei ya mafuta imeendelea kushuka na mambo mengi mengi imeendelea kwa hivyo tunashukuru rais na ninataka kuwahakikishia kwamba kibiashara tumesimama vizuri na mimi mtoto wa Nyandarwa sitawaangusha Kinia Ogwa karibu sani kina kwa constituency ambayo inaongozwa na Kenya karibu sana speaker of our national assembly sasa ziko hapa na mwenyewe ako hapa anaitwa mheshimiwa John uh, tukiongozwa na the clergy na the bishop ambao wametuhubilia siku ya leo god is good Amen. mimi nimeenda laikipia nimeenda nandi tumeenda embu nimekuwa pungoma niko katika committee ya agriculture mheshimiwa speaker yani niliona na macho na kusikia kutoka kwa wakulima Mungu hawachi waja wake na kilio cha mwenye haki Mungu ukisikiza na mimi naomba Mungu aliye hai kama kuna watu karibu na Mheshimiwa Rais Mheshimiwa Naibu wa Rais na kule bunge tunakofanya kazi kama kuna yeyote amehusika kuleta mbolea gushi naomba Mheshimiwa Rais anawe mikono kama Pilato awachilia watu waende nyumbani 
Kweli si kweli? Huwezi leta kokoto, mchanga, kinyezi cha punda na mkojo wa mbusi kuzia watu wa Kenya. Haiwezekani. Mheshimiwa speaker you are third in command. Tell the president. Tenda wema, nenda zako. Jambo la pili mheshimiwa speaker. Nimeona watu wangu hapo wamesema siku za ukabila zimekwisha. I agree with that. Every government appointee atumikie wa Kenya wote pasipo ubaguzi wa wote. Kwa sababu ujui mtoto wako huyu atolewa wapi miaka 20 inayokuja. Ujui mtoto ambaye ametoka Bungoma atolewa wapi kwa uko upi hapa Nyandarua. And that is why mheshimiwa speaker I want to request. Nimeona appointment za Ministry of Education. Na zinyanifurahisha hata kidogo. Because in this country we have over 47 tribes. Watu wamesoma na Mungu anawapenda wote. Those communities must reflect in the appointments in the Republic of Kenya. Haiwezekani kuwa ni watu wachache peke yake wako kila mahali na wengine wanakula kwa macho na kusaga meno. Mimi najua kusaga meno ni jehanamu peke yake. Lakini kama iko Kenya mheshimiwa speaker, ambia Mr President Unapozuru wengine Usinipite Bwana asifiwe sana Sitaki kupita hapa watu wangu mimi nawapenda sana Mimi ni yule Yohana mbatizaji nimekuja kujionea kwa macho na ninawangoja huko Bungoma nitakaribisha watu wote ambao wako hapa 